everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Crawford's a guy who you can see is supremely confident in his abilities. Porter's making his way right now, and he does so with an attitude that belies his in-ring intensity. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Remember the 36 minutes still ahead of them here, round one of 12. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. Unable to make an impact there by Mr. Showtime. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Finish the hook. Work the body. Blocks the headshot, and he ties up on the inside. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Good way to protect the midsection. He just missed that shot up top. Good counter punch by Mr. Showtime. And I love the way he delivered that, Teddy. Yeah, he's using his feet to set up his offense. You don't always see that, but you see it there. Halfway through round number one. one gives one the right hand scores well good block by Porter you're doing great oh. hurricanes way off the mark that punch didn't have a chance zoning in with the overhand left Come on, hurricanes blocking ability is doing well for him there Solid hook. <laughs> Took a shot. Now he gives a left. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Mr. Showtime's defense is paying off now. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head.
Porter's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside and you're lost, you need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. You gotta land a big punch. No doubt about it. If you're losing this fight, you need to throw. Here we go. Round two is underway. Crawford's able to... That's a huge left he just scored with. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Hurricanes almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Crawford's tag. Momentum has shifted. What a big shot. A sharp knifing punch. That, that power hand just scored the knockdown. Crawford's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Get after him. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Nice defense, good block by Mr. Showtime. Well off the mark by Hurricane. Halfway through this round here. Well, nowadays, we have so many different weight classes. Used to be only eight weight classes. Now, with all the super and juniors attached to every weight class, you can go up and down the scale with ease throughout your career. Is that good for the game? No, I don't really think it is because you're making it too easy for the fighters. You know, I'm not saying that it's not good that they have an alternate to a weight class, but a lot of times when you make things easy, they're going to go for the path that is easier. In other words, somebody should be a middleweight. Now, all of a sudden, they're going to be a light heavyweight. They're going to be a super middleweight. Well, with a little discipline. And Mr. Showtime's bang by a left hand. There it is. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Porter's rising back up. That takes some guts. <laughs> to the head he goes with a left hand. Move your head. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Don't let him get to you. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up. You know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give him a little confidence. Remind him, hey, we trained for a tough fight. You're ready for this. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope 
A lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Nice block by Hurricane. Use the ring, use the ring. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. He saw the uppercut. He took advantage. Throwing it out there. Like the way he was able to hook to the gut there. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Hurricane's got some shaky legs here, but he's using those ropes to keep himself up. Yeah, that's his support, absolutely. He's afraid to go out in the center of the ring where he probably could get away from the oncoming. But he's not sure those legs would be there if he goes out there. He's afraid that he'd leave them behind. Snapping hook by Mr. Showtime. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. I see it. Let it go. Come on, baby. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And round three comes to an end. Still win this one. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. Deep breath. Get some water. There you go. You're good. You're okay. Start of round number four. Crawford's ahead on your scorecard, Teddy. Two rounds to one. Uh, a tough fight to score, but when in doubt, it seems like you're going with the guy who's being more active. Yeah, but Joe, is he going to pay a price for that activity? Because sometimes there is a price to be paid. He's winning early. He's doing a lot of work to win. Does he run out of gas? That's my question right now. Uppercut. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Porter's in there clinching more now, it seems, Teddy. Is it me, or do you think he's clinching more after being hurt earlier? Well, I think I'm watching a movie where, you know, in those prison of war movies, where they give you sodium pentothal. I think that's what the truth serum was called. And he's telling me the truth right now. Yeah, he is clinching more. He's not right. Not able to land the headshot. Showtime's movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Through 
the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Ooh. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Porter's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. He gets discouraged. You start giving in. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Good defense, just covering up down low. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Mr. Showtime. Porter's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Don't give him a chance. Set his feet to get any punches off. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. Blocks that belt line well. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind, make a miss. Make him pay. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Get in there! Get in there! Headbody! Headbody! Mr. Showtime's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. What an excellent two-punch combo by Mr. Showtime. You got this one. Just like that. Left and right. Left and right. Back to the body. Nothing there on the punch by Hurricane. Hurricane's showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take... And Mr. Showtime's damaged by a left hand. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Porter's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you'd give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Mr. Showtime's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. 
Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. And the round comes to an end. In between rounds here, Porter's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You're good. You're okay. You got any more of these? I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out, it looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody thought that it was only beginning. And it was. Corrales came back and scored a knockout. Crawford's punch is far off the target. Blocks away that headshot. Crawford's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Order snap. Look at that. That was a big shot that Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Fight is over. Crawford's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. And that's exactly why he packs the stands. This fight is over. Boy, you gotta love a power puncher when he's on his game. Yeah, and you have to love a finisher. He knew how to end it. He knew which punches to choose at the right time. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.